Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to week six of my Live from the Living Room concert series here in my home in Los Angeles. It's hard to believe that I've been home for eight weeks now. This is by far the longest I've ever been home. But on the flip side, I get to spend Saturdays with you, so it's been a blast. So thank you so much for spending your time with us. Let us know where you're tuning in from. I love to hear from each and every single one of you. It's been so much fun seeing people tune in from all over the world to one common place just to hang out and spend some good quality time together. So please let us know where you're tuning in from. Thanks for doing your part, for staying home. And uh, hopefully we can all get back to enjoying each other outdoors and hanging out again sooner than later. I'd like to give a special shout out to all the medical professionals, first responders, and essential workers. We appreciate you and all that you're doing for all of us. We don't take your sacrifices for granted, so thank you so much. Also, thanks to all of you who have made this so much fun over the past six weeks. Your love and support have been felt through your comments, your posts, your store purchases. I appreciate it so much. I can literally feel the love right here virtually through my screen. Uh, so it's amazing. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. We've been trying to keep things interesting each week. I've had so much fun playing so many songs that I don't normally get to play. I've loved getting all of your requests, so please keep them coming. As I mentioned last week, we have a little something different for you today. We worked really hard to put this together. I have my West Coast band here with me. You may have noticed the link on your screen. I've been asked by many people many times to set up a link for donations or tips. Well, I finally decided to do it today to benefit my band. So anything that you contribute will go directly to them. I know it's a difficult time for everyone, but for those of you who are willing and able, it would be greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for your consideration. And I'll be introducing the band to you in a little bit. But before we do that, I need to know, are you guys ready to get this party started? I see people tuning in from Brazil. I see Italy in the building, Chi-Town, Los Angeles, Florida's in the building, Arizona. It's beautiful. Everybody's here. So let's get this party started. I have my band here. We're ready to kick this party off. I'm going to do the first song I'd ever written. It's called Night on the Town. It's featured on my Night on the Town album. And uh, let's just get this party started. Let's go.
That was Night on the Town. One of the first songs I'd ever written. I was actually 13 years old. Such a blast to always play that song. One of my favorites that I've written so far. Aren't these musicians amazing? I feel so blessed to share the stage with some incredibly talented musicians. Every time we rock the stage together, it's just pure magic. I'd like to take a quick second to introduce two of them to you now. Romel Veal and Takahito Mori. Romel Veal, an incredible bassist. Uh, he plays guitar. He's a multi-instrumentalist, one of the most talented people I know. We've been playing together about five years or so. From Chi-Town, so any Chicago people watching, uh, he's one of your hometown heroes. And also on guitar, Takahito Mori from Japan, incredible guitarist. He's played with Patty Austin. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We've been playing together for about eight years or so. Truly, truly talented. And I know you're probably wondering why you can't see Taka's head. Well, he decided he wanted to feature his guitar today. Maybe it has something to do with Rona hair, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's face it, it's been difficult staying sharp under quarantine. But it's all good, it's all about the music. But before we do this next song, I'd like to give a special shout out to Cannonball Saxophones who make some of the most incredible saxophones on the planet. I've been endorsing them for about 14 years. And another shout out to SD Systems Microphones. They truly make the best microphones, so I appreciate you guys so much. And anybody that's celebrating a birthday this weekend, happy birthday to all of you. And I'd like to give a particular shout out to a good friend, Lorraine Fiddler in Las Vegas. Happy birthday to you. And I just wanna celebrate, can we do that? Let's have a good time. So we're gonna kick off another song. I'm gonna do the song that we released in 2008. This is the first song that ever went to number one on the Billboard charts for me. Let's go all out. Kick it off, Ben.
That was going all out, and the band really went all out on that one. For those of you who may have just joined, thanks so much for tuning in. Please let us know where you're tuning in from. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, also, please be sure to share and invite your friends to join. Let's just keep this community growing. I think this is just so amazing just hanging out with you guys. Before we do the next song, I'd like to take another second to introduce the rest of the band to you. On the keyboard, Richard Turner Jr. He's been my musical director for 16 years. Truly talented, one of the most patient people I know because it's a lot of work having to deal with me 24 seven. I'll literally call him at three o'clock in the morning working on a new arrangement, but he's been there for me from day one. Richard Turner Jr. on keys. On the drums, Gordon Campbell, another one of the most talented people I know. He doesn't only play drums, he plays the piano. He's an incredible producer. He's written and worked with so many other artists. And uh, it's always an honor being able to play with my brother on the drums. And last but not least, on percussion, Jay Puente. Now, he's been working with me the longest out of everyone in my current band. We've been working together for almost 18 years. That's a long time. But one of my brothers, love him so much. Truly one of the most talented people I know. And uh, it's always so much fun playing with these guys. It's a blast. Uh, for those of you who just joined us, you'll also see a link on the screen pop up throughout the show. Uh, please note all contributions that you make will be going directly to the band and their families. So thank you so much in advance. We appreciate your contributions. But let's get back to the music. Let's keep this party going for you. We'd like to do another song for you that's on my latest Breaking Through album. It's a song called Traz. Now Traz represents trap hip hop fused with jazz put together. My music is all mixed with jazz, hip hop, R&B, pop, and that's what this is all about. So let's do a little bit of Traz for you. Hope you guys enjoy.
That was Traz. Just something a little different for you. We like to mix things up a little bit. Um, this next song that we'd like to do for you is another song from my Breaking Through album. By the way, all of my music is available on my website, which is www.ericdarius.com. Click on the store page. All of our CDs are there, merch, hats, anything you're looking for, we got. So make sure you check it out. Uh, anyway, this song that we'd like to do right now is uh, actually a song that I wrote for my wife for our first dance. It's called L-O-V-E, which stands for Living Our Vows Every Day, because that's what love means to me. And she's such a special, amazing woman. She inspired me to write this song. Uh, today, I'd like to dedicate this song to my parents who have just recently celebrated their 43rd anniversary just a few days ago. And they continue to inspire me with their love. To anyone out there right now that's watching, that's celebrating an anniversary, this song is for you as well. Um, this song features my great friend, the incredible Brian Culbertson. Today, I'd like to feature Richard Turner Jr. on the keyboard. His nickname is 88 Fingers, and you're about to find out why. I know we're social distancing right now, but I want you to give the person next to you a hug. And if you don't have anyone near you right now, I'm sending you a big virtual hug. Anyway, without any further ado, this is L-O-V-E.
Again, that was L-O-V-E. Hope that song spread a little bit of light and love to all of you. And let's remember to be sharing the love during these difficult times. We all need it. Well, we have time for one more song, so we're gonna switch gears and get you fired up for the rest of the weekend. I wrote this song with my good friend Rodney Jones Jr. and we released it as the fourth single on my latest album. I'm so proud to say that it was number one on the charts for 10 weeks. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get fired up. Kick it off, Van.
Woo! That was fired up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Thank you so much to my amazing band for joining me. Don't forget, if you want to make a contribution to the band, the link is below. All contributions will go directly to them, so thank you so much in advance for your kindness and generosity. For next week, we have something really exciting planned. For the first time ever, I'm going to let you guys hear a brand new song before it's released or even as a title. As a matter of fact, I would love your help in naming the new song, so don't miss it. Thanks again for tuning in. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys next Saturday. God bless.